Let's explore how you would insert a screen recording or a screenshot into your PowerPoint presentation. You'd first go to your Insert tab, come over here to the Media section where you have the Screen Recording option and I'll click on that. That then minimizes your PowerPoint so that you can record any screen that you have active at the time. I currently have my web browser active so I'm going to record that. A couple of things I'd like to point out is that by default your mouse pointer is set to be recorded and audio recording is also active. You can see that it is shaded in grey which means they are both active so you can click on both or either to deactivate them if you wanted to. I'm going to activate the recording of the mouse pointer and then the next option is that you have to select an area of the screen that you want to record. To do that you simply click there and then you can draw across the area that you want to record like so and then once you're ready you can hit the record button gives you a countdown and then any activity that you perform on this web page any links you might click on or anywhere that you navigate to will obviously be recorded you can also record software simulations and things like that. Pretty much anything that shows up on your desktop will be recorded. Once you're done, you come up to the top of the screen here and that toolbar becomes visible again. You do have the option of pausing during your screen recording as well, which is handy. So once you're done, you can go ahead and click stop. That then brings up the PowerPoint interface back on screen and you can see that your recording has been inserted onto your slide. It has come in full screen or rather it is the same size of your slide. You can pick one of the corners and then resize it and reposition it as you wish. So that's how you insert a screen recording. Let's quickly explore how you might insert a screenshot. I'll delete this video file go back up to insert and the screenshot option is over here under the images category of the menus. I'll pick screenshot and as you can see it lets me pick from any monitors that I currently have active or I can pick the screen clipping option which once again gives me the option of drawing out a particular area that I want to capture and once that's captured it is automatically inserted into my slide and once again I can resize it, reposition as required. Hope that helps.